Alright, so I decided to give it another go with the electrolysis because I found out that the battery charger had blown a fuse, so I don't know when that happened. And it didn't, that's why it didn't really look too impressing. Hopefully, now it's connected to a battery and I got the, char the charger on the battery. Now that should work. Got some tension on the anode so that it doesn't touch the sides, otherwise, it will probably weld itself to the tank. So I've got space for any gases to escape. I can't hear any sizzling or see anything, but hopefully it's all going to plan. As you can see, it's nicely reinforced. So let's give this 24 hours or overnight. Did some previous electrolysis on the spanner. A wrench that worked within 12 hours, so maybe with, with a bit more of a powerful battery. This is a bit more powerful compared to a 5 amp charger. We should be able to do something quicker. All right, so after the second round of electrolysis with the battery, we can see that a lot more has come off. There's obviously still a bit of rust. I did also clean it out with the pressure washer. But it's a lot better than what it was and it will have to do. I need to paint the underside on the outside of the tank. I for this, I actually just use Lidl Parkside spray paint. It's a two-in-one primer and uh, paint in, in one. And it's held up really well. I blasted it with the pressure washer, it didn't come off. It seems to be also diesel resistant. It's not, coverage is not super great. You can see quite a blotchy. This even has two coats, but for the tank, it's fine because you won't see the tank when it's mounted to the tractor. But the other underside, I think I'll just paint black because you won't even see that at all because they had to face the engine. And I want to save the red for the side uh, wheel arches. But so that seems to work well. I now got the throttle rod in the electrolysis bath. All right, thanks for watching this electrolysis video. Hope it has been helpful for you. It's a cheap way to remove rust. So all you need is some water, a battery, or a good battery charger, and then carbonate of soda. And some and the cable leads. But that's about it.